Hi, this is Dieter Bohm with The Verge, and we are looking at the I'm Watch, which is an Android watch. It's running Android 1.6, though of course it's a highly customized version. And you can see we've even got a notification area here. It has a 240 by 240 screen. Uh, the company says that it's basically the same screen as the iPod Nano. And it's got a bunch of custom apps that they've made. They've made an email app, they've made a Facebook app, they've made a Twitter app. There's weather and news and a few other bits. It needs to pair to a smartphone over Bluetooth in order to uh, get its internet connection over tethering. Um, and so you can do that and then it'll work as a Bluetooth headset and then you can also get online with it to do various things. It's got four gigabytes of storage so you can play music off of it and there's also a headphone jack on the side so you can listen to it. Uh, now there's only one button, it's this button on the side and it basically functions as a back button over the entire OS so there's no home button, you just need to keep hitting back, back, back to get home. It has a capacitive screen which in my testing, as you can see here, sometimes tends to miss swipes so it's not running especially well. It's powered by a 450 megahertz Atom processor, uh, Atom 9 processor actually, and the production models will have 128 megs of RAM and a 400 milliamp battery. This model only has uh, 64 megabytes of RAM because it's just a prototype. The company says that it's in production now and that you can, uh, they're, they're getting ready to ship the first pre-orders out or they wouldn't give me an exact release date. It retails for $349 for uh, this basic color version which comes in a bunch of different colors and that's the iWatch.